In this video, I'm going to show you the location of the prosthetic tool called the Loaded Spear and how to use it. So, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to How To Unity, a YouTube channel dedicated to find answers to Unity's game engine most obscure problems. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. At the moment, I'm conducting research into action adventure video game game mechanics by playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, made by From Software. The studio brought you Demon Souls and Bloodborne, and a landmark game which is still cast in a long dark shadow through the game industry to this day, which is of course Dark Souls. You could generally make Sekiro in Unity, but you would need a massive team. When I finish the game, I'm going to make some tutorials how to do some Sepulchro game mechanics made in Unity. For this to happen, I'm going to need some new prosthetic tools. Through some exploration, I found the location for the prosthetic tool called the Loaded Spear, which you can access quite early in game. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I found the spear, so I'm going to do a reenactment how I found it. When you've made it to a Sheen Castle area, take a left and jump across the moat. Kill the two men on the bridge, the spearmen will drop the gatehouse key. I've killed all the enemy in this area beforehand so it would be easier to show the way to the gatehouse. Use the gatehouse key to open the gatehouse door. Open this box to obtain Gorobi's broken horn. Now travel to the Lapide Temple to ask the sculptor to transform Gorobi's broken horn into the Loaded Spear prosthetic tool. And that's how you gain the Loaded Spear. How to use the Loaded Spear The Loaded Spear gives you long range attack for the price of one spirit item per use. Also the ability to tear off large enemies armour or drag light enemies towards you for close up attack. How to tear off large enemies armour To tear off large enemies armour, the enemies must be in striking range. Then press the recessic tool button which is R trigger. Then repress our trigger and Sekiro will perform an armor tear, which will do significant damage to enemy's posture. How to do a light enemy drag? To do a light enemy drag, the enemies must be in striking range. Then press the recessic tool button, which is R trigger. Sekiro will do a thrust attack, which is unblockable. Then repress our trigger for a light enemy to be dragged towards you for a close up attack. How to do a chase and slice. A required skill I can really recommend purchasing for a loaded spear is chase and slice. Chase and slice makes Sekiro move quickly towards enemies for close up attack. Chase and slice works in the same way with other prosthetic tools like loaded shuriken and shinobi firecracker. You can purchase chase and slice by selecting acquired skills when you are at a sculptor's shrine. Then selecting prosthetic art skill tree. Now select Chase and Slice, it will cost you one skill point. You can do a Chase and Slice when enemies are in striking range. Then press the Recessic Tool button which is R trigger. Sekiro will do a Thrust Attack which is unblockable. Then press the Attack button which is Right Bumper. Sekiro will move quickly towards the enemy for close up attack. And that's how you do a Chase and Slice. I hope this video helps you find and use the Loaded Spear. Question of the day. What is the best upgrade for the Loaded Spear? Please answer in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more content. Goodbye from How To Unity, a YouTube channel dedicated to find answers to Unity's game engine most obscure problems. All links are in the description below.